This is 35-year-old Fiso Gushentuli from Guanongoma in northern Guazul Natal. He has been convicted of six murders, including that of Guanongoma ANC, what councillor Tami in 2016. The killings took place between 2015 and 2017. First, it was Nyembe, followed by four potential witnesses to his murder. Among the four were three siblings. The sixth murder has not been linked to politics. Tuli has also been convicted of attempted murders and the illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. He was arrested in 2018 and was due to be sentenced at Escalin Regional Court today. But the matter was postponed after Nduli demanded a probation officer's report. The state says this has been one of the toughest cases due to the killing of multiple potential witnesses. If you've been following the, the case, some of the, the people who were killed in this matter were potential witnesses. The Zulu brothers, all of them, had really were willing to come forward to the police to disclose, the, give the information about the, the killing of Mr. Nyembe, who was a ward councillor. There was the fourth deceased, I think, uh, Mr. Zoom. He, he too was a potential witness in the case. The police were actually looking for him based on the information that they have received that he's got. When this guy, the accused, realized that these people were about to make statements, he decided to kill them. So that is why I'm saying even the witnesses who came forward here, they were risking their life based on that. If you know that you are facing an accused who is killing witnesses, definitely you, you, you must realize that you're putting yourself in danger. But they were brave, those witnesses, to come forward. That's why I want to say thank you to them. Thank you very much. Police say Nduli is linked to a total of 14 murders in Guazulu Natal and Gauteng. They include the killing of former Bafana Bafana goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa. Police say political killings have decreased since the establishment of this task team into political murders. I think you all will recall the, the level of political violence uh, during that time, the number of people that were being killed in the province. I think there was never a week that went past where there wasn't at least two or three killings in a week um, in, in KwaZulu Natal. But since the establishment of this team, uh, they didn't only secure the arrests of over 280 suspects in connection with those, those killings um, around 2018 and before, but also uh, post. But what is very important is the work done by the, the, the KwaZulu Natal political task team has also helped significantly reduce the number of attacks and killings as far as uh, political violence is concerned in the province. Ntuli will be back in court on the 9th of December for sentencing. Lundi Khatib, SAPC News, Eskalini.